wanted to make some general points then when it comes to the overall score. So all of these again are formulated up and um, uh, counted up and you could see here that we are getting the certified level. I think that's the only one I kind of filled in. I didn't go and fill in the rest. So we're just about pushing into the certified level. Um, so each category is summarized here, the percentage and the points and it's out of 200. So you can see the score for all categories um, out of the 200 um, and do some maths. So at one point is worth half a percent. And it's worth noting actually that each point is equal in, ter in terms of the indicator. So there's no weighting. Um, so there's no kind of priority or stress put on one indicator being more important than the other, which is not always the case um, in all beams. So if you look at BRIAM, it's weighted. And while lead is not weighted as such, there is a different, I suppose, a bigger spectrum or range of points. So like something like energy is worth like, um, what was it, 20 odd points, whereas um, other credits may only be like two, four, something like that. Whereas these are all in the range of kind of zero to kind of six, six excuse me. So they don't, I suppose they're not really indicating any priority issues there or anything that they see is really that more, much more important than, than something else. Um, the other point to note is that some, if you're doing a housing development, it's p possible that some houses are going to score better than others. So you might, you know, get from a certified into a gold for some. Um, it's unlikely because you need to kind of design and plan for gold, but it could be possible or even maybe I suppose the band that's more possible is that some will be certified and some will be not. Um, that might be okay in a private development um, where you can have kind of different levels of certification but in public authority housing I'd say that would be it would cause a lot of friction you could you know everyone would need to kind of get the same. You, some buildings could be seen to be better than others um, so that's just something to consider. Um, the other um, issue is that um, just in terms of the location, it did come up um, before just how important, I mean, it's worth 12 and a half percent. So if, if you're in a location that is crap in terms of all these things and you can't get these points, I'm just going to show you that even might be enough to push it. Yeah push it into the not certified band. So that might be an exercise if you're in your project is in a terrible location to see just what little bit would take it to push it up a bit higher if this is occurring or where like because you can't do anything about that where you might try and focus your efforts in which indicators you'd need to get to just push you up into the band and on the other end if you're near gold just to see what um what could begin to push you into gold or what you'd have to do be um, an interesting exercise um, and that just the other thing then is in terms of cost so the cost the uplifting cost you'll see that this most buildings will kind of get certified if they've got a half decent location and they're kind of following the building regs especially part the new part f and l are kind of pushing them into the certified part um but if you're going for gold there will be i suppose much more cost and coordination of design team and thought necessary at an early stage um to do that and just enter terms of charging a fee in terms of the time and the cost that um, for the person doing it that uh, would be required. Um, it's okay to kind of go for certified but once you go for gold that they're all issues to consider and the gathering of evidence and the time taken to do that even at the certified level that that's a process that needs uh, to be done and needs to be efficient and needs to be clear and it will take time to gather all of that and label it and upload it to the to the right places so just some some general points there and then um that completes our kind of more in-depth look at um hpx